everyone welcome back to the ts info youtube channel this is chandrika an it analyst in the ts info technologies in this video tutorial i will explain you how to get start day and end day of the month in a power automate flow by using the date formula so let's open the power automate home page in the browser type make.powerautomate.com so that if you have already logged in then it will directly navigate to the power automate home page or else it will ask for the microsoft login credentials so i have already logged in with my Microsoft credentials it has opened my power automate home page in the power automate home page I will create the manual trigger flow for that click on the create button on the left navigation and select instant cloud flow we can give the flow name in this window or else we can also give it in the flow studio so I was giving it here I was giving the flow name here as power automate start day and end day and choose the trigger as manually trigger flow and click on create in the flow studio after the trigger add a new flow action that is initialize variable in the initialize variable give the name for the variable i was giving it as start day and select the data type as string and in the value of initialize variable provide the expression for start day of a month for that click on expression and start of month with open brackets and take utc now after that comma in the single quotes provide the date format i was taking the date format as date month and year and click on ok after that add the compose data operation in the inputs of compose data operation select variables under the dynamic content that is generated from the initialized variable now save and test the flow click on test test manually run flow now the flow has been ran successfully once we open the compose action then it will show the outputs as the start day of this month that is 1st of november 2023 this is how to get the start day of a month now i will show you how to get the end day of a month in a power automate flow for that edit on the flow and in the initialize variable here i was changing the name to end day and data type is as same as string and in the value of initialize variable select the expression to give the end day expression that is subtract from time with open bracket start of month add to time take utc now after that provide comma and one comma type month comma within single quotes type month after two closed brackets comma one within single quotes type day comma and within single quotes provide the date format and click on ok in the inputs of compose flow action take the variables of the end date under the dynamic content and click on save and test the flow manually once the flow runs successfully open the compose data operation to see the last date of the month we can see the end date of the month that is november 30 and the thursday and 2023 this is the format i have given in the date format so this is how to get the end date or last date of a month by using the power automate flow to check out the tutorial on power automate start day and end day of the month click on the link provided in the description box if you need any videos related to the power automate and sharepoint online add a topic in the comment section so that we will get to know about the topics what you need for more free videos on sharepoint online power apps power automate and power bi like share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon thank you and see you in the next video